Hello and welcome to Box, where we unbox, review and demonstrate the latest tech. Today we have with us the 2021 G1 OLED EVO from LG. As a part of LG's gallery range in 2021, the G1 is the only model to sport the EVO panel, offering a newer, evolved OLED that's much brighter than its predecessors. The G series is built to be solely wall-mounted for that picturesque art gallery look, as it comes with a built-in wall mount. However, if you do want to place it on a stand, you will have to purchase it separately. With a very specific minimal design, the G1 is a rather unique display, offering top-of-the-line OLED quality that offers an extra touch of class to your home. So taking a quick look at the box, LG boasts a whole host of super high quality specifications, from the latest processor to some must-have game enhancements for consistent cinematic viewing. Opening up the box, there are two small rectangular boxes inside, one housing the wall mount and the other holding all of your essential accessories. Now taking a closer look at the accessories, you get the 2021 Magic Remote, an IR blaster and a handful of user guides. Now the G1 comes in three sizes, with the 55 inch being the smallest and the 77 inch being the largest. We have the 65 inch with us here today, making the perfect fit for home cinematic viewing. Removing the outer box is easy enough, lifting it straight over the top. Pulling away the plastic, you do get a small glimpse of that impressively thin display just perfect for mounting flush to the wall. Of course, the unique aspect of the G1 is its purposeful wall mount design. The gallery name comes from the idea that the TV blends into your home interior as if it were a decoration. Although the G1 looks fantastic when hung flush to the wall, it can also be stand mounted with either the small legs or the gallery stand. Both of these options, however, are sold separately. With the TV out of the packaging and lying face down, you can get a good look at what connections we have on offer. Within the L-shaped cutout along the side, there's a common interface slot, three USBs and an IR blaster. Along the bottom, there's a 3.5mm standard audio out, an optical digital audio out, four HDMIs, a LAN port for Ethernet connection and two satellite cable inputs. Now you'll notice that LG have proudly stamped the back with all of its standout compatibility features. Not only has the G1 been blessed with four 2.1 compatible HDMIs, it also has Nvidia G-Sync, Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos compatibility, meaning this TV is an unstoppable machine when it comes to outputting a stunning cinematic picture with anything you consume. Now as we don't have the ability to physically mount this TV, we've opted for the gallery stand here to help show off this impressive display. The gallery stand does look great, but it requires a lot of floor space along with another storage unit or table for your accompanying accessories. But if you can, I'd highly recommend taking advantage of the super thin picturesque display and mount it flush to the wall as intended. Fitting the stand takes a bit of work, as you would expect when trying to achieve this beautifully minimalistic result. It comes in this box that's almost as big as the TV itself, housing an abundance of parts that look a little overwhelming at first, but the whole process only takes a few minutes. First, you take the large supporting post and fix it to the weighted metal pegboard using the screws provided. It has three height adjustments, letting you raise and lower it to fit your eye line comfortably. Once you've screwed the tripod base into the post on the bottom, all you need to do is screw in the top supporting screws into the TV, hook the board onto the back and secure it in place using the remaining screws on the bottom. The stand encourages you to hang all of your accessories on the back of the TV to reduce the amount of wires hanging loose. Now you're provided with six hooks that slot into the holes on the board, which are found great for mounting a long extension for plugging in the power and the lights. There's a handy cable tidy channel that falls down the inside of the stand, directing the cable neatly out of the base for a tidy finish. Now it's on the stand, let's take a look at the design. The overall display is nice and thin, shaped to sit flush to the wall while still offering that spectacular sharp picture. The back panel is plastic, however you do get this stylish metal edging that frames the screen neatly all the way around. Now the practically edge-to-edge -edge display leaves barely an inch of a black border framing the picture, giving you that full screen cinematic effect. Now setup is quick and simple, taking you through the logins, programming, settings and a few apps that you may want to download. But once you're in, you're straight into the full screen webOS dashboard, showing you more popular content, all of your available apps and every setting you could possibly want. It's more detailed than your standard simple pop-up, but it can be a little overwhelming when bombarded with all of the content available. I also find it a little inconsistent at times, taking a second to load depending on the strength of your internet connection. But overall, I like the easy to navigate tile system as it's personalized and visual enough to allow you to jump to your favorite apps as you see them in just a few clicks. It's made even easier by using the magic remote, directing the cursor straight to your desired content rather than repeatedly pressing buttons. As always, I'd highly recommend making sure that your TV has the latest software update installed so you get the most out of all the functions and features on offer here. And just for the purposes of the video, I'll be disabling the energy saving features just to give you the best idea on how the display fares 
squares using various picture modes while giving accurate brightness levels. Now, if you're looking to change a few picture settings to best match your content, then don't worry about having to find them within the menus. The quick settings bar along the left-hand side of the screen holds everything you could need to adjust the picture without leaving the content that you're watching. My favorite part is the simple toggle switches that flick through the picture and sound modes, altering them in real time to give me a good idea on which one best suits what I'm watching. Getting straight into the display specifications, the G1 utilizes an A9 Gen 4 AI processor with a 4K 3840 by 2160 resolution, fully supported by HDR10 Pro and Dolby Vision IQ. It also packs an impressive amount of auto-intelligent features that work hard in the background, adapting the picture and sound settings to bring you the best audio and visual output no matter what you watch. I tested out a wide variety of content from YouTube videos to 4K movies, using various picture modes to get an idea on what kind of quality this TV can put out. Of course, first I wanted to delve into the picture settings, where you can find a couple of brightness options from OLED brightness to panel brightness. Now the OLED brightness allowed a more specific manipulation of the OLED pixels, whereas the screen brightness brought up the overall brightness for both light and shadow. I kept both on default for the time being, largely using the picture modes to jump between settings quickly to better match my content type. Now there are eight different picture modes to choose from, each bringing out certain color and brightness settings best suited for sports, movies, or games. I mainly used the ISF Expert Bright and Dark modes, as I felt they worked wonders when keeping the picture bright and consistent across various films and shows. The colors still popped, while the brightness remained level with rich blacks and contrast, working the same when switching to a dark room, maintaining a strong bright image with level light and dark areas and natural colors. Even though there are specific modes for sports and movies, I felt the colors were less blown out and a lot more realistic when using this picture mode that has a much broader scope. Of course, you don't really have to think about settings much with this TV when you have a lot of AI features enabled. Putting the picture controls in the hands of intelligent features just makes it easier when I want to switch from an animated film to a dark drama, letting it automatically balance the levels and manipulate the brightness instantly for optimum picture settings throughout use. Now, one of my favorite parts here is the upscaling when it comes to watching older standard definition content. I did watch a few DVDs of my favorite movies that hadn't been remastered to HD or Blu-ray, and despite the 65 inch size, the quality still looked fantastic for low resolution content, clearly seeing the upscaling at work here. Even after all of the tech that they packed inside the G1, I still wanted to test the brightness and dimming to see if the Evo stands out from other LG models this year. Now in the brightness test, the picture didn't quite come out as bright as others, but when it compares to the overall dimming and blooming, there's no worry whatsoever with the OLED pixel dimming tech, as it delivers pinprick precision when dispersing light, giving off crisp clean lines in high contrast scenes, and a beautifully sharp picture when watching very dark shows and movies. Looking at the display from a sharp angle, there seems to be no distortion in the image, which is a relief, because no matter where I sat, I got a clean, clear picture thanks to the wide viewing angle, which is perfect for having friends around and knowing that everyone will get a good view. Now, no TV is complete without a great sound system. The G1 has 60 watt downfiring speakers with a 4.2 channel. Now, the speakers themselves certainly had some epic volume even when playing movies on low. Now, there are quite a lot of AI sound features, including Clear Voice and AI Sound Pro, but you do also get full access to Dolby Atmos, ensuring the sound output is as close to cinema quality as I can get. Though the overall output was clear, delivering consistent sound across the board with all of the AI features turned on. Of course, you'll get far superior results when pairing with an LG compatible soundbar. But for the time being, here's a small sample of the sound that you can get just from the TV speakers alone. <laughs> to gaming, you're in for a treat as the G1 comes with a full range of game enhancing features that gives you the full experience the game designers intended you to have. With the next gen consoles bringing out some impressive titles in the upcoming year, you'll be pleased to hear that the G1 is fully capable of keeping up. I played a few games with the Xbox Series X here today, and though they weren't the latest titles available, they definitely played much smoother than the previous TV models that I've tried. The high-speed 2.1 HDMI compatibility does help bring a consistent game experience, but thanks to the additional help of the game optimizer, there was little to no chance of getting any interruptions during those crucial moments in the game. Racing at high speeds in Forza Horizon 4 and fighting off multiple enemies in Gears 5, I saw none of the usual suspects, such as lag, tearing, or stuttering even at a high frame rate. 
The pop-up game optimizer menu helped me keep an eye on performance and which settings were active without leaving the game, but if I wanted more detail, I can open up the full menu to switch to whatever enhancement I needed with just the touch of a button. The menu is pretty in-depth, letting me know if I had VRR turned on, as well as monitoring the FPS rate throughout. I enjoyed having all of my game-related settings bundled into its own menu for quick access. I played with both game optimizer on and off, and even as a casual gamer, I could see the huge difference not only in quality, but in the overall smooth performance. So after using the G1 for several hours, I can honestly say it will make an excellent centerpiece to any entertainment system. The picture quality is amazingly detailed and gives me the freedom to watch any quality content in high definition as a minimum. It works well with all of my accompanying devices, and I love how easy it is to alter the settings to best match what I'm watching. Gaming is also a high powered experience, matching the quality of the latest titles while offering enough of a power boost to keep them running at peak performance. So what do you think about LG's G1 OLED EVO? Let us know in the comments below, and if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Box, where we have plenty of hands-on reviews on the latest tech. And as always, thanks for watching.